Hey Money Movers, welcome back to Millennial Money Moves with Nadia. Today I'm going to be talking about kind of why I started investing in the stock market in the first place and why I started this channel. And I'm also going to be giving a stock pick. So before we get started, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and turn on that notification bell because you're not going to want to miss this. So Nadia, what's up? We making money moves. Who making money moves? We making money moves. You making money moves? We making money moves. We making money moves. We making money. Welcome back, you guys. As promised, I'm going to be giving a stock pick, so stick around for that. But first, I'm going to be talking about why I started investing in the stock market and why I started this YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you who have been following me from the beginning, you know I didn't start the channel all on my own. I had the help of Uncle Larry, stock up with Larry Jones. If you watch me, you probably, it's highly likely that you also watch him. But I just kind of wanted to say, you know, it's the experiences that led up to this, believe it or not. You know, I remember, first I kind of want to talk about why I'm passionate as a person of color. I'm African American, uh, if you didn't already know. and. You know, as a woman, a person of color, we have different struggles being minorities. And in African American households, you know, investing in the stock market just isn't really something that you'll hear us talking about too often. Now, this isn't to say that in no black households and in every black household, it's this way or that way, right? Even though I am a person of color, I cannot speak for every single minority or every single African American for that matter. But I can talk about my own experiences and I'm sure that some of you might relate. So I just kind of wanted to start off by saying, you know, kind of explaining why it's not talked about. This could be because of, you know, situationally, there's just bigger things that we're talking about. Like we're talking about racism and we're fighting different struggles for different rights. I mean, Black Lives Matter movement just happened or we just saw stop Asian hate and like things like that were talked about in my house more than anything and religion was a huge part of my household. So for me, those conversations kind of dominated everything else. Yes, my parents obviously taught me uh, the basics of saving money and the importance of it, but it's just not a huge thing to talk about money. And so I kind of want to get the conversation started because I wish that I had started investing at a younger age. This isn't me blaming my parents. My parents gave me the best access and education and financially supported me. So this is not me coming at them. This is just a cultural thing, you know? And so I kind of want more and more minorities to start investing. There's a, I think there's above a 40% difference in the amount of white people who invest and the amount of African Americans who invest. And obviously, you know, I can't change that overnight, but I want to help as many minorities and as many people of color to start investing or just people who, you know, didn't grow up hearing about it or don't know the importance of it. Because I always just, you know, kind of thought checking in the savings account, you save money by a save high yield savings account. But there's so many more options. There's Roth IRAs. I want to kind of talk about, you know, 401ks when you're starting to when you're starting a new job in corporate America and there's investing in the stock market, there's long-term investing. And, you know, I always want to talk about building generational wealth. Uh, my mental health is really important to me. And so I kind of started doing affirmations. And one of them was I'm building generational wealth. But another one is I'm helping others build generational wealth. I want to help those in my community. So if you know anyone who you think you know, would benefit from starting to invest, please share this with them because not only on my channel do I want to talk about investing, I kind of want to help people get there and talk about general budgeting tips or maybe extra ways to make money or ways that in my own life I've saved some money. Just little things um, make a big difference and go a long way. I just want to get this message out to as many people as I possibly, possibly can. I remember when I was in first grade, and this is kind of an example of how I think it's a privilege to talk about these things. And for me to sit here and have this platform, I'm recognizing and I'm grateful for the platform that you guys have all given me because I wouldn't be here without you, without Uncle Larry, and without my parents, you know, who supported me and still have faith in me. And um, 
getting sidetracked from just thanking everybody for getting here. But I wanted to say, because you guys are giving me this platform, I want to use it to help as many people make money and build generational wealth as I can. Because if I want it for me, I want it for somebody else. Um, but with that being said, oh, I wanted to give a story of what, how I first heard about the stock market. I was in first grade and I went to a if you follow me on Instagram, it's Money Moves with Nadia. I made an IGTV kind of doing like a short three minute video about this. I was in first grade and my friends and I were trying to figure out where we wanted to go eat lunch. I think this was like after school, you know, we were kids. I don't remember all the details. But what stood out to me was we were deciding between going to McDonald's or going somewhere else. And my friends were like, oh, you know what? Let's go to McDonald's because that's where our stock is. And they were like, oh, like, I think the stock's doing well. And I remember them kind of checking it. And I was just there like, what? Like, what is a stock? And I remember asking my parents, what are they talking about? What is, what are stocks? What is all of this? And they seemed to know about it and be very excited about it. And I'm sure they all had custodial accounts. And now I know what that is. But little first grade me had no clue what they were talking about. But I want to normalize it where for me and other people of color, we know what that is too. We're not only a part of the conversation, but we're doing it ourselves and we're building that generational wealth. So speaking of investing, I wanted to talk about a stock that I came across recently. Now I'd heard about it before, but I only recently bought it. DraftKings, ticker symbol DKNG. And DraftKings is an online sports betting company. If you guys are really into sports or into gambling, you might have heard of this one just by using it. But as far as the stock market goes, I think this is a good long-term hold. I don't think it's bad for the short term, but you guys know that I'm not really a short-term investor. I'm in, it, I'm in it for the long haul. Uh, DraftKings, this was the big news that just came out. DraftKings just bought Golden Nugget, and Golden Nugget's ticker symbol was G-N-O-G. Now, when this news got out, obviously it had effect, an effect on the stock price. So DraftKings only went up 3%, but GNOG went up 48% in the pre-market, which is huge. That's so much, that's such a large increase. So if you were in GNOG and that happened, uh, congratulations, you picked a winner. And I think there's still, you might be wondering why I'm talking about this now if I just said it already went up. But with DraftKings, again, that's ticker symbol DKNG, they're in an upward trend, and I think there's still, there's still room for them to grow. Now, right now, this stock is sitting at $51, somewhere around that range. But according to different analysts, the average I've kind of gathered is this could go up from anywhere from $80 to $100. So it looks pretty promising to me. I don't know about you guys, but I really liked this one. The upside, I think I saw the highest prediction at $105, and right now it's at 51. So you guys know that's pretty good gains if it goes up. Even, even if it goes from 51 to 80, that's still something that I want to be in. And also I wanted to note, if you guys already had it, the GNOG shareholders will get 0.365 DraftKing shares for every one GNOG share that they have. So again, let me iterate that. GNOG shareholders will get 0.365 DraftKing shares for each GNOG share that they currently own. So if you had some um, GNOG, you now have some DraftKings, and I think that DraftKings could go, could go up a ways. And so I think that's pretty good uh, news. I'm pretty excited about that one. I like it a lot. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but yeah, DraftKings has been my latest play, and I hope that me kind of sharing my story, have, uh, some of you can maybe relate to it, and hopefully that in inspires you all to keep investing and you see the importance of building generational wealth, because I want a great future for myself, but I also want a great future for my kids, not that I have any, but for my future kids, you know? Um, all about building generational wealth and making money moves. Again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. And if you haven't, uh, click on the links in my description box below. You can click on Coinbase, deposit $100, and you can get some free crypto. And the same thing goes for Webull. You know, they're running promotions right now. 
click on it, download the link, deposit $100, get some free stocks, and get some free crypto. All right, so check those out. And again, remember to have a good day. Bye.